Today we are talking all about how to grow cryptocorn species. So let's get started. Cryptocorns, or crypts for short, are a very easy, common, and beautiful aquarium plant. They are naturally found along tropical rivers all over Asia. They are so popular in planted tanks because of how easy they are as well as how beautiful they are. Now I often recommend these to beginners starting their first planted tanks because of how little light they need as well as they do not need any CO2 to thrive in a planted aquarium. One thing that's very important when growing cryptocorns is a good source of nutrients. Now there's multiple ways to do this, one being regular gravel with a nutrient source underneath like root tabs. Um, gravels that come and soak up nutrients over time like Ecocomplete and Fluorite or gravels that come with a bunch of nutrients in them like aqua soils like Tropica, ADA Amazonia. Now I have a video all about selecting your substrate system. Um, perfect for beginner up link up in that corner if you guys want to go check now it out. There are so many different variants to choose from with different colors, patterns, textures, that kind of thing. There is uh, Wentii, Lucens, Lutea, uh, Bechtii, um, Undulata, just to name a few. I'll try to put pictures up of a few of them. But there's just all these different kinds, so you have such a good variation to choose from for your planted tank, and they are all super duper easy to grow. Now, cryptocorns don't usually propagate too quickly. Usually, you have to remove them from the substrate and split them off into multiple smaller pieces or they can also send out runners. Now runners are kind of like a root that shoots underneath the substrate layer from the mother plant. And what happens is it shoots out and then a new plant will grow from where the runner ends and you can form a chain of different crypt corns. But this usually takes some time for the crypts to establish before they do start sending out runners. Now the most important thing I want you guys to take from this video is that your crypts are going to die. Now give me a second to explain myself. Crips really need a stable environment to grow and thrive. What happens when the store buys them is they're farmed in an area where they are grown out of water and then they are shipped to the store and put underwater where you buy them and put them in your tank. So this is a lot of change and this usually will cause your crips to melt. Now crimp melt is something you will almost always experience when you buy crips. What the plant is doing is it is taking nutrients from the leaves that were grown out of water to make leaves suitable for underwater growth. Now it basically looks like all the leaves are withering away. So it's kind of scary for new Aquarius that don't know what's going on, but it's really nothing to worry about. It's a phase that all, almost all crypts go through, so it's something you just have to be patient with. Now crypt melt can also happen if you move your crypts around too much. So make sure you place a spot where you really want your crypt to stay. If you want big healthy crypts, you gotta leave them in one spot. Don't move them around too much. So guys, that does it for everything you need to know about Cryptocorns. If you're new around here, consider subscribing for Planted Tank content every Tuesday and Thursday. But anyways, guys, this was Kelm's Fish Tanks. Peace.